Motivation Monday. Today, it's all about a second chance at life. I had asked you a question earlier on our question for the day. Would you rather lose your sight or your memory? It's a hard question when you think about it. Anne is saying, I'd rather lose sight. I can't imagine forgetting the wonderful works of God in my life. I'll always have spiritual eyes and <laughs> work better. Modoni from Qatar says, that's a hard question. Sight and memory, where? I would go for memory loss and uh, just begin a different life. What about you? What would you say to that question? This morning, I've got two amazing people in studio with us today. And uh, it's an amazing story of God's faithfulness. We have Dixon Njeru. Dixon, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Karibu sana. Asante na It's good to have you. Thank you. We also have Sophia Njeru in studio with us. Sophia, how are you doing? I'm well. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. Great. Yeah. Dixon, I have been waiting for this day because I want to hear this story. This story, uh, this story amazed me. Wow, amazing. amazing. Yeah. So uh, what happened? What happened? When did it happen? It happened on uh, 2nd of September 2019. Uh -huh. uh, it was around 7.30 um, uh, in the evening. Mm -hmm. uh, I was getting out of job. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I used to work uh, around South B. Okay. And then with, uh, when I was going home, a good friend of mine uh, told me, oh, do you mind? Since I was, I was raving uh, around Roiro, mm -hmm. so I used to use, uh, I used to use uh, the car road. Yes. So a good friend of mine told me, oh, do you mind uh, carrying this person and drawing, uh, dropping him at um, around City Stadium, Old Town? Mm -hmm. Then I know, and I know issue with that one. And um, little did I know, uh, the person had some um, funny intentions. So on uh, arriving at uh, City Stadium, mm -hmm. the man uh, insisted that uh, I arrive from my bike. Mm -hmm. So oh, I was shocked, yeah, and a bike, yeah. So I was shocked. Then I asked, how, how comes? I've just been given, uh, I've, I've just been given you by good from mine. Mm -hmm. I drop you, uh, then I proceed my journey home. Yeah. Then uh, within a fraction of seconds, uh, I hand, hand a brew mm -hmm. uh, at my hand. And uh, within those seconds, I had a, uh, and, um, a, a sound mm -hmm. of, a, of a cooking. Mm -hmm. And uh, from that, then um, uh, I, I lost memory. I, okay, the, what happened eh? after the cooking? Eh? Mm -hmm. De uh, definitely they shot me. Okay. Then they left me there. They left. Was he alone or with somebody else? Uh, me, I was alone. Eh? Okay. And uh, the person that was, I, I was carrying. Okay. So they left me there. Mm. Uh, then um, uh, Securex, there was a... Did you take the bike or did you leave the bike? They went with the bike. Ah. Yeah. Okay. But later on the bike was uh, recovered. It was recovered. Okay. Yeah, it was recovered. Eh? Okay. So there were, there were these uh, uh, security guns, mm -hmm. Securex. They won patrol. Mm -hmm. uh, they followed me there. They took me. Mm -hmm. Then took me to Kenyatta. Mm. Yeah. What? So you, mm -hmm. when do you get the news about your brother? So that was on um, Tuesday evening. That's when he was shot. Uh -huh. I, I communicated with him that very day. Yes. So, of course, he's my closest brother. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Unfortunately, that night I never called him. Okay. And um, just slept, and then woke up in the morning. I remember that time. I, this, that's when I was in school. I was doing my higher diploma, mm -hmm. so I reported back to school mm -hmm. in Mata Hospital. Um, and then I had my morning, my morning duties, and then around ten, eleven, I decided to call him mm -hmm. and ask him how he's doing because Mata is around South Bay. Yes. And then uh, his phone was picked by a policeman. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, and then this policeman tells me, uh, your, your brother's phone is at a uh, industrial police station uh -huh. and you're supposed to come. I'm like, no, I know my brother very well. Yes. He's this guy. Well, he's cannot <laughs> <funny meaning>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not a guy who goes committing crimes. Yeah. So, what's wrong with my brother? And then they tell me your brother is, is very sick. He's at uh, Kenyatta National Hospital. Uh -huh. You need to rush there. And um, uh, he needs some specialized treatment. Okay. I'm like, what? what so they didn't give you details? Yeah, they just told him he's there. Okay. But they told me, just come at the police station. Mm -hmm. 
so that I can give you company, so that you'll be able to go and see your brother, and also so that I can hand over the phone to you. Okay. So I went to industrial police station, I was given escort, mm -hmm. and I went to Kenyatta National mm -hmm. Hospital. So this time, what, what are you thinking this time? Because, mbaka <laughs> unapewa escort, you must have been thinking, kwani what sickness is this? Yeah, yeah. and then I went at the industrial, they told me your brother was shot Ooh. by thugs. And uh, me, I thought, like, okay, shot. Maybe he was shot on the leg, on mm -hmm. the hand, or somewhere. Because mm -hmm. they tell me he's alive. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we went to, I, I happened to call my husband. And then the, we, we met at Kenyatta National Hospital mm -hmm. and a few friends of mine. And that's when I found him mm. at the Kenyatta National Hospital. So were you the first person to go see him at the hospital? Yes. I was the first person to see him. So when you get to learn that they actually shot him in the head, mm -hmm. what are you thinking? Uh, when I got there, mm -hmm. uh, I, I found him on a couch. He, uh, he was lying down. Mm -hmm. He had a drip on his hand. That on a couch? I the tanda. He was in casualty, emergency and accidents. What? Yeah, so that one night. But I really thank God yeah. that he was there because they had done all the necessary things okay. that were needed for him. Okay. They had done the CT scan. Mm -hmm. We showed where the gun, the, 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 bullet, the bullet was. was yeah. They had done the, the lab investigations that were needed. Mm -hmm. And even the, 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 senior, the senior neurologist at the Kenyatta National Hospital, mm -hmm. he had signed a consent. Because mm -hmm. him, he could not recall anything. Mm -hmm. So he didn't know his name. He was a known African man. So by that time, was he conscious? He was conscious. But he could not even recall like my number, my mom's number. So he didn't even know you? No. Okay, I think the connection that we have with him, uh. when I got there, he helped me and he told me sees. And then I'm like, his eyes are open, but he can't see me. I'm like, oh. what's, what's happening? And uh, that's when I took the, the CT scan films and the report and I saw a bullet launched in the brain and I broke. Because now I knew the intensity of yeah. of this, yeah. being a medic, I knew a, a bullet in the brain. That's something else. That's, that's huge. Yeah, and then again, seeing him not, not able to see, mm -hmm. also really hit me hard. Okay. But I, I gathered courage because I'm the only one who is around him. My mm -hmm. parents are far away. Mm -hmm. My other siblings are far away. The only person around is my brother, uh, my, my, my hubby, mm. and my sister in love. So those are the persons those that were really close to me at that yeah. time. Okay. But we thank God. Okay. So yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering, uh, Dixon. Yep. So <coughs> when, you come t when, you, when you come back yep. and you find yourself in the hospital, yep. uh, did you realize you can't see? Did you know what had happened to you? What the is going on? The funny thing was, eh, I came to realize myself eh, uh -huh. one day when I was almost getting uh, discharged. Oh, really? The, the same, same day that I was getting discharged. Uh -huh. It's the same day that I came to realize myself. All those days that I was in the hospital, How many I days? never knew. Uh, it's almost a week because it was from, it was shot on Tuesday. Uh -huh. And uh, we went home the other week on, on a Saturday. Okay. So it was two weeks. Two weeks. About eight two days. Weeks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eight okay. days. Yeah. yeah. So the time you're being discharged is when you're fully aware. Uh, like two, two, two days before, mm -hmm. my sis now, my sis now came, mm -hmm. and uh, I was crying mm -hmm. on the bed, and now he asked me, "Can you see me?" Mm -hmm. uh, then um, I responded, mm. "I can see some somebody through." Uh, Images, images eh? mm -hmm. but I can't see you clearly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think from that uh, information, mm -hmm. she got hope that mm -hmm. uh, probably I'm getting some uh, some little sight. Yeah. So even the day that was getting discharged, I couldn't see well. Okay. Uh, the doctor told me that uh, my my veins mm -hmm. uh, they were so sore. Mm -hmm. So that were making uh, they were making the uh, I mean not to see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So at what point did you actually recognize what had happened to you? Uh, it's so funny, Sabab, uh, Sababu. It's a story. Uh -huh. I can't tell. I'm, I'm always, uh, I'm always told uh, the story the way I'm telling you. 
I can okay. tell. I can tell. Where people are being watched. The same, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. From uh, from from day day one uh -huh. uh, up to almost two months, mm -hmm. I never knew anything until one day my sister told me, you know what? Do you know what happened? Then I told her, no, mm. I don't know. I can't even remember. Even the day when I was shot, I even can remember. Now she wanted me to heal uh, mentally. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw uh, mentally, and at the same time as I was healing uh, yes. uh, physically. Yeah. So now uh, she told me, you know, can you remember what happened? I, I sent her no. Mm -hmm. So um, now she broke the 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 the, 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 news. the news now. Mm. You know, you are short. Can you remember? I said no. Where? Uh, then now we started now uh, the discussion now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are coming out of you are coming from out of job. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you carried another person. Mm -hmm. Then on leaving uh, uh, city stadium, uh, the man um, shot you. Uh, you are picked by a policeman, took you Kenyatta, mm -hmm. and then uh, yeah. Why, it's when, a story. When you were in hospital, were you in a lot of pain? Uh, yeah, the the, the hand, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Even after being discharged. Yeah. And a, uh, a lot of migraines. Uh -huh. Yeah, so okay. severe, severe, okay. severe migraines. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now for you, because you are also in the medical field, mm -hmm. so here you are. This is the situation you find your brother yeah. in. There's a bullet bullet lodged in his brain. brain yeah. So you, I'm sure you had conversations with the doctors. Yes. What did they tell you? Uh, the first doctor that I talked to, I remember uh, Kenyatta being a very busy hospital. Yes. But one thing I usually tell people when I'm telling this story is that Dixon was favored by God. Because mm -hmm. that day, even with my hubby and all the people that are around us, we yes. just saw the favor of God. Because mm. when I talked to the doctors, I told them, um, I can't manage to get him out of this hospital and take him to a private hospital. Because mm -hmm. I know the cost. Mm -hmm. I called Mata Hospital, Coptic Hospital, mm -hmm. and they're asking for a deposit of 600000 because he needs to go to theater yes. and he needs to go to ICU. Yes. Because after the surgery, he'll be mm. put on the machine. Mm. And that is what happened. I remember that all day of Wednesday being there and they told me, we're giving you hope. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to operate on your brother. Mm. That's one thing I'm assuring you. Yeah. That's what the doctor told me. But... We have to wait. We're going to finish all the cases that we have today. Okay. And then after we are done with the cases, mm -hmm. your brother will be the last on the list. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we're going to close the, the theater. And I'm like, huh? You're closing the theater for my brother. Yeah, we'll have, because currently we don't have any ICU bed in Kenyatta. Wow. I told them, fine. And so my brother went in. Mm -hmm. I, I had to leave the hospital at around 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. And my brother went in for the surgery. And then they, uh, they did the surgery. I was communicating with the nurses. Mm -hmm. They told me the surgery has added. Mm -hmm. And uh, your brother is still here, but he is on the machine. He can't breathe on his own. Okay. And so very early in the morning at 5 a.m. on Thursday, I was there. And I found him still in theater. There was no I, ICU bed. Mm -hmm. I went to stay in theater. Mm -hmm. It's, the, it's called the, the trauma theater mm -hmm. at the accident and emergency. So he stayed there that old Wednesday, that old Thursday, until Thursday night at around midnight. That is when you got a bed okay. in the ICU. Okay. And so his journey began there. He was in the ICU in the machine. Okay. That was Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So now when the doctors operated on him, were they able to remove the bullet? They were not able to remove the bullet. Why? Uh, it's where the site of the, the bullet is uh -huh. until now. His bullet went so, to so the hold on. So right now there's a bullet in his... Uh, yes. <laughs> now wow. from, uh, from, uh, from left... Wewa ukienda ya po tutakuwa na shidra sana. Asevani. Kwa zila machine. Sister detect kuna lakitu. Yeah, but uh, we are always very careful. Because uh -huh. there are even things that he cannot do. Like we... He can't go through like... There's, a, there's a, an imaging called MRI. MRI yes. Yeah. He's yes. not supposed to go through an MRI. Ah. He can only do a CT scan. So okay. I always guide him on, on where he can do. If there are those security checks, he begins to go to the airport. Yeah. I'll always, I'm very careful You're very on careful. him. <laughs> okay. yeah, I'm so when careful. the doctors told you they can't remove the bullet, mm -hmm. what, what did you think? Uh, I knew it was a tough, a tough one. Uh -huh. 
but he explained to me and I understood. Okay. Because you see the bullet, it was shot on the right, on the left side. Left. He uh -huh. has a scar. Yes, I can see the scar. Yes. Yeah. So they, they, and then when they started operating, they went through the left side. Yeah. Only to realize the bullet was far on the right side. It went through. So this bullet yeah. went through the brains and it never had any arteries. It what? Is spared the, the ventricles. It is spared all the vital organs in the brain. Wow. So how it happened, we don't know. That we can't even explain up to date. No one can <laughs> explain that. Yeah, that. Even, even our neurologist, when we talk to him, is yeah. like, this one we don't understand. This one is God. People, let, let, let people not give up in life. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if I personally gave up and uh, each and every day I could tell myself, you know what, I was shot. Mm -hmm. a bullet kwa, kwa, kwa kicho. Mm. Then how will people take me at the same time? Yeah. No, no. So never give up on, uh, on, your, on, your, on your life mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. And never despise your, yourself, mm -hmm. you know. And sec secondary, I do see it. Anything that happens in life, it can't happen. Uh, it can't happen for the sake of happen. Yeah. You know, no. yeah. So for me, anything that happened, Mm -hmm. I do glorify God. Mm -hmm. uh, so through my story, a lot of people have been changed. Mm -hmm. Ah, nice. Yeah, a lot of people have uh, believed that Mungu yuko na Mungu na ponya. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a story that uh, in a pair of twingi moyo mm -hmm. na nguvu that is. It's <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the only explanation. <laughs> it's the only it has to be gone. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. even I remember when he was in the ICU, mm -hmm. I remember this tall Muslim doctor. At one one day, he came and approached me and told mm -hmm. me, "Do you know your brother you never see again?" Eh? Yes. Do That's you what he told you. Yes. Do you know your brother will not see again? And I'm like, and then he tells me, "Your brother will be like that that three that three old girl there who fell on the back and hurt, uh -huh. and she's now totally blind." <laughs> but I look at him and told him, "No, my brother is going to see." Wow. Yes. My brother is going to see because yes. I had this great faith and yes. I had this great conviction in me that he will see again. Mm -hmm. And when I asked him which 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 color is my, my, my dress mm. and I was wearing a navy blue like this curtains mm. and he told me it's blue, black and okay. And then my husband came, he was wearing a white lab coat mm. and I asked him and what's what's Davy wearing and mm. said a white coat mm. and I, I knew yes I told God yes this is it this is it yes something is happening yeah, something is happening wow so, yes. what, so when you left hospital yeah I'm assuming you went to your sister's place yeah. definitely yeah, sure. uh, yeah. How, so how, how how long were you under her care uh, almost Two months. Two months. From two months. September two to months. November. Yeah, two months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So within those two months, how, were you were you just in bed? At what point were you able to start moving around? Uh, it was so funny uh -huh. uh, when uh, when I went at a play there, I couldn't even remember even opening a fringe. Uh -huh. It was so it was so funny. Even I could ask her. How do we open the fringe? Oh. How do we see our work clock? What is ah, the time? It was so funny. <laughs> Your memory had been wiped clean. How do we change channels clean? in that TV? Definitely, yeah, sure. Wow. So now until I uh, started now teaching me 1 to 10, you know. So you had to relearn everything, everything. again. Yeah. But now it was, it was through God's favor and grace. Uh -huh. Within uh, two months, almost three months, uh -huh. now, I, now I started now to recall almost everything. Even what I called, uh, I got in courage. Uh -huh. you know? Yeah. Wow. But when I w when I went to a, a place, mm -hmm. I was completely blank, completely blank. Completely blank. Yeah. This morning is all about a second chance at life. Shot in the head, lost his sight, lost his memory. But he's here to tell his story. I'm hanging out with Dixon Jeru and uh, the sister Sophia and Jeru, sharing their story with us. Kuna swali hapa, kuna jamaa anauliza, ule mse aliombia na uo mkora raida lienda hapi. What happened to him? Um, <laughs> we just forgave him. Uh, uh, did he know? Ama was he part of the plan? Uh, we don't know, but we do suspect. Okay. That yeah. thing was a setup. It was a uh, setup, yeah. 
Yeah. I hope you're watching this show. May God forgive you. Now, okay. Now, okay. This one says this is a great miracle. Uh, somebody's asking, do you still have headaches now? I'm uh, uh, no, but I'm always on uh, medication. You're always on medication? Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. My good friend, Reverend Bar Bernard Warui, you say that sister is an angel from God. Yes, she is. One great lesson from this story is family. Wow. The way she is speaking and the level of love and compassion for her brother. May God bless her. Asante amen, sana. Amen, amen. Joyce in Uganda, good morning. Such a great testimony of God saving and preserving grace. Yes, indeed. Good morning. Uh, such a great testimony of God's power. I have a question. Uh, here to Shajib, what happened to the good friend who asked to give a ride? God is reaching out to him wherever he is. Yes. That's why everybody is asking about him. <laughs> yeah. Sophia, are you the one who broke the news to your parents about what had happened to Dixon? Yes. So, uh, my dad is, is more composed. Uh -huh. So, we had to call with my husband. Uh -huh. And we called dad. Mm. And we told him. Mm. Uh, Dixon is sick. <laughs> In our mother tongue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In our mother tongue. Mm. And um, I told him Dixon is sick. Mm -hmm. And we are at the Kenyatta National Hospital. Mm. And now we had to break the news to him and tell him. Mm. Um, yesterday when he was coming from job, he was shot. And... Saizi, we are at the hospital waiting for him to be operated. Did you tell him where he had been shot? Yes, I told him. Because uh -huh. now I had to, to tell him so yeah. that he can talk to my mom. Ma Sit yes. my mom down because yes. I know my mom will panic. Yeah, your mom Sit. baby is like my mom. My mom <laughs> panics. Yeah, and she panicked, by the way. Mm -hmm. And sit her down mm -hmm. and tell her yeah. son has been shot. And I'm penda sana. Mm -hmm. So I knew what mom can do. She can collapse or something happen mm -hmm. to her. And sure enough, God gave her the grace and the strength. Okay. So daddy talked to mommy, and then I told them, just hold on, because mm. I'm here and I'm taking care of everything. Mm -hmm. You can come on Friday. Okay. And I, one thing I, I was praying God is, when by the time they are coming, mm. Dixon at least to be out of, of the machine. Of the machine. Because if yes. my mom comes and finds my brother in the machine, yes. he's not breathing on his own, yes. he's just lying there and all the machines on, on his body, I think that will be another blow to her. Okay. Yeah, but good enough when, when they came, mm. he was out of the machine. Mm. Yes, but a bit confused. Okay. Can't remember anything. Oh, yeah, that's the question <laughs> I was going to ask. But I, when but your I parents came, did you even know who they no, were? No, I didn't know, but I, I remember you telling me this. Um, I was tired. Uh -huh. I was tired at the bed. Yeah. I was much, much firing. And oh. stress. I don't know why. Okay. So I was being I was being tired. Mm -hmm. So it's a story that was being told. <laughs> so even <laughs> them coming to see me, yeah. even my friend coming coming to see me, it's a story. I never knew anything. You can't remember. I can't even remember. So so how was the process of learning how to do everyday things again? Was it a smooth process? Did you have moments where you felt frustrated? Yeah. And I remember when I used to, I used to cry. A uh -huh. lot. A lot. Oh, why? I used to cry and then I was so... Uh, I, was so I used to cry a lot. Uh -huh. Then uh, I was much, much high-tempered. Uh-huh. I don't know, I don't know where it, uh, the, the high-tempered could, could uh, came from, eh? mm -hmm. but it was much, much high-tempered. And... Um, I think the whole uh, the whole uh, eating process. Eh? Mm -hmm. My sister's uh, uh, has been of good uh, and great help. Mm -hmm. uh, when she came out of job every day, she uh, we could sit down. She t uh, teach me at least one for three things, mm -hmm. then leave me in the in the house. Now the husband mm. used to uh, work around around the uh, the Near home place. Yeah, uh -huh. sure. So he could come at uh, lunch time. Warm the phone for me. Wow. Get back again. In the evening. Oh, you have a nice husband. <laughs> <laughs> He's God said. Yeah, but uh, we are the God. They uh, are very, they are very, very big role for me. I think if it wasn't for, for them, eh, 
my 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 recovery process eh? mm -hmm. you could have taken a lot uh, a long a long a longer time okay yeah, sure w were you ever bitter with god god why did you allow this to happen to me um since I and lost memory, uh -huh. I knew I knew nothing, so mm. I couldn't be, be okay. bitter. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Why are you bitter with God? Okay. Your little brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had so many questions. Uh -huh. Why? Why did it have to happen to him? Yeah. But I always thank for God for the support system that I had. Mm -hmm. I think that was the greatest thing that helped me. Mm -hmm. Not even to be bitter with God. Yes. Not even to question God. Okay. And even looking at those two weeks, like that time that he was shot, mm -hmm. taken to theater, and then uh, out of the machine and being discharged. Mm -hmm. It was in a span of like less than two weeks. Yeah. That's so also looking at that yeah. and being in the medical field, it encouraged me. Because mm. I've seen people stay for so long yes. in the hospital. Yes. And then this speed recovery that he had, mm. the eyesight was lost, is back. So even for this this memory, I think I was I was still encouraged mm -hmm. that it will come back. Okay. And then having people who are praying with you, who are coming into mm. the mm. your house yeah. each and every time, encouraging you, mm. this really really encouraged me a lot. Mm -hmm. And as much as it was a hard time for me. Yeah. I really didn't have so much to question God about. Okay. But one thing we were sure of, and even in the morning, we I remember us saying that mm -hmm. out of this sickness, mm -hmm. God will be glorified. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for sure, he was he has glorified. Been glorified. For sure. Yes. Yeah, you've mentioned something I was going to ask, mm -hmm. whether you had a support system of prayer. Yeah. And, and if prayer played a role in this journey in any way. It did. A hundred percent. It did. From my pastors mm -hmm. to my Your pastors are who? One year to be at one do it. You are my pastors, one man. We have pastors from a uh, full uh, redeemed gospel church, yes. Uiru. Yes. We have Pastor Reverend Peter Gaya. We have Pastor Gitao. Uh -huh. We have Pastor Penina and uh -huh. Pastor Kelvin. Ah. And then I had another pastor from Santon, yes. redeemed gospel Santon. Mm -hmm. Is Pastor Amos Bonfas. Mm -hmm. He was a great man. I remember that night, uh, that time my brother was going into surgery, he mm. called me and he prayed with me. Nice. When my brother was going in. Mm. My husband, he's the greatest person, I think, mm. in that journey. My sister in love also prayed a lot. Yeah. And my cousin, mm -hmm. and a cousin of mine, she's called Lillian, mm. and the husband. Mm -hmm. I remember them praying and and even praying for speedy recovery for my yes. brother. And even when my brother came to the house, friends that love God, friends that fear God mm -hmm. would come and pray for us. So for us, prayers worked. Mm -hmm. uh, it was divine. It's, nice. it's not an ordinary thing. Being a medic, when I look at, at that story, mm -hmm. I don't see it an, as an ordinary story. It's not. It's not it's an not. ordinary story because yes. I've seen these things mm -hmm. in real life, not even in my brother's life. Mm -hmm. I've seen them in other people. But for him, how it happened, mm -hmm. how he got healed, how he lost his memory, and within two months he's back. Um, he has remembered that I did a diploma in electrical engineering, mm -hmm. and this is what I do. And actually, that is what he's doing even right now. Oh. He got sure. even a job. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's something that we usually say it was not just an ordinary no, thing. No, it wasn't. It was for the glory of God, mm -hmm. and surely God was glorified through his story. Wow. So prayers for us worked. Okay. We have no <laughs> doubt about it. Okay. Yes. So at what point do you feel that uh, you're confident enough, you remember quite a bit, you can now get back into life? Um, I think four months, uh, four months after the accident, uh -huh. I was shot on September. On November, I went home. Mm -hmm. Now when I went home and to help Mm. My mom want to want to Home drink. is where? Uh, Hembu. Hembu. Okay. Yeah, Hembu. <laughs> I know they couldn't see. Yeah? Dixon is now recovering. Yeah? <laughs> then uh, January, um, and, and he sent him to get back to Nairobi. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> my sister told me, so are you coming now to stay with me? Mm -hmm. I said, no. Mm. I'm a man. 
So let me let me go find my my home now. Yes. house again, and then uh, I started live again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went back to mm -hmm. uh, That was on Feb, I think Feb. Mm -hmm. um, uh, since I had no job, I opened another shop, an uh, electronic shop. Mm -hmm. I worked for some few months. Then um, by God's grace, mm -hmm. um, I got a job uh, by the end of uh, April. Mm -hmm. 2020, yeah, during COVID. Mm. April 2020, yeah, mm. during COVID, mm. when people were being right, uh, re, uh, laid, rained, off. rained, yes. rained yes. off, yeah, yes. got a job. I, got, I, got, job. I got a job in yeah. uh, 2020, yeah, and up to date, I'm working there, ah. yeah, sure. So I think uh, for those uh, from uh, September up to um, Feb, mm -hmm. um, all my recovery and everything happened in between, mm -hmm. and then uh, from April, eh, I was now um, I was much much ready to to start the okay. life again. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, sure. That's good. So, if somebody was to ask you when you look back at your journey, yeah, and what you have gone through, what are some of the main things you can say you have learned? Um, one thing that I, I personally do believe and I, I do tell people. <laughs> uh, Mm. Yeah, sure. Pick pick you I patikana. Yeah. Patikana how I did patikana already. No, on 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 your to city stadium. Eh? Uh huh. There's a there's a red rain. Yes. There's a red rain. Yes. So I think when they were trying to cross the re, the red rain, eh? uh -huh. it got an overflow. Ah. And uh, when a bike g gets an overflow, uh -huh. it can. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, and then uh, it, it will take your time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there were cops behind. Oh. So now they left. Okay. They left the bike. Then it was recovered by the policemen. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, it, was a, so it was a wrong story. <laughs> <laughs> It's a long story, but uh, yeah, it's particular. Generally, it's particular. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for you, big sister. Yes. When you look back at this journey, mm -hmm. what lessons have you learned? Uh, one thing, mm. um, it's already depending on God, mm -hmm. and not leaning on our own understanding. True. Because I, I don't think leaning on my own understanding and my knowledge mm. <laughs> really helped me. But already depending on God. Uh, the other thing is family. Yes. Family, family, family. Yes. Because I believe it was, if I was not there for my, my brother, mm. he would not be here today. Mm. And um, that love for the family, and like even seeing my husband coming in, mm. being a family, that also overwhelmed us a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even, I think Akusema, he bathed him at some point. Mm. Sure. Yes, in the house. Wow. Mm. Those are stepping from the from from the rooms to the to the bathroom, yeah. he not find his way. So family is very important. Very and should important. people should embrace family. Yes. And um, again, the people who surround you, the who are your friends. Mm. Sure. Are they people who are bringing you closer to God? Are they people to encourage you mm. or even to to celebrate with you? Mm. And even they came in, even his, his friends, mm -hmm. his friends, the alumni of uh, Railway Training College. Yes. I remember they came through even financially. Wow. Yeah, sure. And they would call me and ask me, sis, that's who they, 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 they used to call me. Mm. And even some guys, even right now, we became friends mm -hmm. because of him. Mm. And even that day of this chance, they asked me how much money is needed. Mm -hmm. And they came through for him. They, he was distanced. And then my house became now a meeting point. His friends mm. would come. Mm. Even that Sunday, after yeah. we distanced on Saturday, that Sunday they came, a whole lot of people to come and say, Poland, even to encourage him, and wow. also they, they were coming to the hospital. Could you remember them, your friends? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, when they were coming, and, yeah. um, and and now started now remembering yeah. all of them, yeah. Yeah. So I could remember them. Okay. And we could have a little conversation. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I know somebody would want to ask this question, yeah. so let me ask it. Okay. Because you have a, a strange object in your head. Yeah. Do you feel it? Do um, you feel like something is in there, or you don't feel it? No, the funny thing, I'm, 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 I was sealed completely. 
Uh -huh. I don't feel anything. I wow. don't. I did the funny thing. I don't um, get those edits. Uh -huh. I don't. So the only thing that, uh, there are those um, drugs that I do take for, um, what are they come for? Just to, okay, what these drugs do, mm. they just prevent, you know, these are foreign objects in the brain. Yeah. And it can trigger uh, maybe an electrical activity in the yes. brain yeah, sure. and uh, maybe cause a conversion. Mm. So those are just like unconversant drugs mm -hmm. which it takes. Okay. Sure. But migraines and all those things, they're gone. Yeah, yeah. 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 his sitting is, is complete. Mm. Um, we don't think of removing the bullet. No. No. Maybe it's not But the same time we were told if, uh, <laughs> uh. I think uh, removing it, eh? uh -huh. it will cause more danger. More danger. Than uh, it being there. So now we decided. Mm. Even the senior you know, is saying that we can't. Because mm. yeah. actually it's, it's more, it's not, right now where it is, uh, it's more on the scalp than in the brain. Mm. Yes, which now makes it uh, more better. It's more on the scalp mm -hmm. than in the brain. Okay. I don't know how it was prevented from blowing out the brain. Mm. <laughs> it just stopped. <laughs> Almost near the skull. Yes. Sure. Yes, because even when we go for now for the routine checks, mm -hmm. the routine. Oh, he has to go for routine checks. Yeah, yeah we how, go for how some routine. Like, you no, know, you're staying for more than a year without yeah, going. But yeah. I'm in constant communication Fishing with the doctor. With yeah. the uh -huh. doctor. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, but. Have you, have you ever seen another case like this in your career as a, as a medic? Uh, for a, a bullet lodged in the in brain? In the brain, yes. I've, I've not seen mm -hmm. one in the brain. The mm -hmm. ones that I've seen. Maybe somebody has been shot, uh, maybe somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Like I've ever seen one in the throat, mm -hmm. but they didn't make it now when they go to theater for the bullet to be removed. Yeah. They, have, they, they, didn't, they didn't come but out. But I think, I think only two people, mm -hmm. uh, the BP or senior, mm -hmm. the uh, doctor's mm -hmm. son by Mike, Mike mm -hmm. Sonko, mm -hmm. and another uh, university, Nairobi University lecturer, mm -hmm. though he died. Mm. So I think those two people. Okay. But I personally am living with it. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, sure. God is good. Yeah. So do you still ride? Pardon? Do you still ride? Uh, ride? Yeah, I do, but he no does. personal. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I think okay. it's it's uh, <laughs> in 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 <laughs> it's, uh, it's in It's in He loves in it. Okay. Even he owns a bike. Even now. Even he, now. He has it. He drives around. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that, that, that experience, did, you know, some people go through an experience. I know people who've gone through, uh, they've either had an accident. Yes. And from that point on, they don't drive. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. for you, that didn't affect I your didn't, love for, didn't, for bikes. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. yeah. And I really thank God for that. Okay. Yeah, sure. If you had to meet this person who shot you, would you know him? Um, if happened to, to, to meet him, eh? yeah. but the only thing can... Uh, I can ask him. Yeah. But would you know him? Would you know this is the guy? No, 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 I can't. You can't? No, I can't. Okay. Since it was, it was in, the, in the evening, uh. Uh, I really can't know him. Okay. But the only person that gave me him to, to, to carry him, yeah. I, uh, I knew him and uh, I still know him. Eh? Uh, have you ever met? Uh, once. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he, he, really, he really refused to talk. Eh? Okay. Uh, I, 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 I went there and asked, uh, can you remember what happened? And uh, uh. definitely what, what, what made uh, the whole scenario mm -hmm. happen? Mm -hmm. uh, then she was out of, uh, out of funds. Yeah. And then I have to end to leave. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us would have laid hands on them without prayer. <laughs> 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 I think we saw this all case now, maybe starting legal issues. Yeah, it's another issue. It's another issue. You're dealing journey. with the recovery process yeah. for this one. Yeah. And now you want now to start pursuing legal issues. Mm. You're going, it's going to cost you time. Yes, money. 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 Yeah. And also your, your time. Because mm. you have to appear in the courts. You have so many things to do. And yeah. I was very, that time I was very busy in school. Mm -hmm. So... Okay. We just thought God to help us and forgive that person. We don't even think about it. Ah, we can't even have a second to think about now this person, what was his intentions, all those, yeah. Great. Yeah. My time is up. Oh. But thank you so much for coming thank and you. for sharing your story. I'm, you. I'm so encouraged. 
Thank you. Yeah, there's a message here that says uh, from Vero, your story has given me hope. It has strengthened my faith. This is what I call God's favor, grace, and indeed a miracle. Amen. Absolutely Amen. lovely. Amen. Our time is up this morning. I hope that uh, Dixon and Sophia have been able to encourage you. If Dixon is still living life to the full, enjoying life, if Dixon can forgive and move on, what about you? Yeah, Dixon is not using his experience as an excuse. Oh, you know I was shot. Oh, you know I have a bullet in my head. Mm -mm. He has forgotten all that. He's moving on. I don't know what's holding you back. I hope his story has encouraged you to arise from whatever situation or calamity that befell you. Don't allow it to be a bookmark in your life. Yeah? Turn it into a testimony that will be a blessing to others as Dixon has done. Until next week for another session on Motivation Monday, do have a great day. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload new fresh content every day. Stay tuned and enjoy fresh uplifting content. <laughs>